was just like have a conversation. Some people know about what Nier is, some people don't. Uh, but I think it's really important to note like how interesting this graph is. Uh, I think we were just talking about uh, how Nier has achieved full interoperability. And this is a really complex problem in blockchain. EVM figured it out, right? Everybody runs their own smart contracts. They have uh, the ability to publish it. They, no one can control my smart contract if I push it up. They can write custom logic to that contract. Uh, let's say I'm the owner of the contract. I can uh, maybe create like batch listings on that contract. That's, but that's mine. No one else can mess with that. So EVM figured that out. And I think that that's where they really saw the kind of explosion of what we're seeing today. So it feels like some of the other chains are kind of cheating it a little bit, uh, where they're just creating large contracts that do everything and anything. So if you're familiar with Solana, they have Metaplex. Metaplex writes the standards, they basically create the contracts, and all of these other marketplaces just sort of tap into that one contract and uh, show all these things. So I'm super proud of Near that we kind of struggled through and it took us a little bit longer to get the uh, world where everybody owns their own contracts. You know, some people can upgrade their contracts, some people pull their keys completely away so you can never upgrade those contracts again. Uh, if people interact with Minface, uh, like ASAC is a big one on Near, uh, I shouldn't have any control whatsoever over their contracts as my marketplace. So does anyone not know what Near is at all? So people know what Near is neat. Uh, uh, developers, uh, how many? So I'll curtail the conversation depending on the the world of of code and not code. All right, and then uh, what are you guys more? You're a developer, neat. Okay, so Near, we chose to jump. We were on Ethereum in 2018. We're probably one of the the original minting platforms. Um, us and Mintable were the only real minting solutions when we first came on the scene. Uh, and there was a day that we were doing the ticketing for um, NFT NYC, where we were checking people in. It was really exciting. Uh, but to do a single basic transaction to check people in, that was going to cost upwards of like 20 bucks. And to deploy a contract that costs like 200 bucks. Uh, fast forward a year later, it ended up being like 3,000 bucks. Um, so we decided right then and there to kind of go fully to Near, which is, a, I think, the only chain that's actually handling sharding appropriately. So the reason why we're all doing this is really decentralization. I mean, you can say it's for all these other reasons, uh, but the real movement, whether you know it or not, is about decentralization. And so some people are solving the scaling issues in certain different directions. Some people are saying, well, we don't care about you running your own node. A massive business can run its own node, and, and that runs the, the, the network. Near went the other route where they're more focused on, OK, each individual shard, uh, you could run it using relatively not cheap, but uh, affordable for a company like Mintbase to be able to help uh, run our own validators. So that's the long story why we're running on Near. Uh, we haven't looked back since. We're, we've rewritten everything, uh, every line of code. Uh, from scratch is now on the near land. We also thought uh, Wasm and Rust was the future. So if you look at GitHub, uh, for the last like five years alone, the most loved language is Rust. Uh, I'm a developer. I've been developing for many, many years. I think since 2007, I probably haven't skipped a week. Uh, and it's, it's important to kind of stay a little bit ahead of the times. So the developers are the ones that are going to help guide where things go. And to me, Near is definitely far ahead. Their business development team needs to get their stuff together a little bit better because I think a lot of uh, people aren't aware of like a lot of the you know innovations that Near is doing. But companies like us, we're, we're cranking along. Uh, if you guys don't know, these guys are one of the core uh, developers of of the Near ecosystem. So kind of cool to have them here. Yeah. yeah. So let's get into the presentation and talk about stuff. All right. Oops, it is. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, what is, you've all heard this word composability. Uh, what does that mean to you guys? What is, what is composability? 
So we have decentralization, right? Let's assume that Near is now figured out decentralization. So that, that gives us that neat thing. The next neat thing that comes after that is how do we do it in a composable way? Because this is the, also the massive thing that we get with blockchain. It's composability. So to break it down uh, in its simplest forms to me, uh, it's that you can do the same exact thing on every single website and, and create your own website and do what you're doing. So you can create, uh, we created this uh, site called Minsta, uh, microchip over here created it, where you literally can take a picture. Uh, if anybody wants to hit that QR code, and if they have an your account, then you can actually Minsta uh, on it now. Um, Basically, you take your photo of your moment throughout ETH Denver. We upload that to Arweave, uh, which is stored permanently forever, and then near tracks the transactions of the bit. So back to the composability thing. So being able to build our own uh, centralized website to mince the land, uh, and then being able to basically take that same sort of uh, concept and tweak a little bit of code, uh, on a thing called Near Social. If you're not familiar with it, it's uh, uh, Eugene was the, the creator of this like madness. Um, but it's a it's a, a fascinating system where literally everything lives on chain. So here we go. Everything you're seeing lives directly on chain. Uh, so we can go and we can take a picture. What's that? Uh, ETH Denver, let's go to Minsta.me. So what is Mintface? Uh, we aren't Minsta, obviously. Um, we're actually a, a, a marketplace. Uh, 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 internet is struggling. Go, go, go. Okay. So composability is really important to us. Decentralization check, we don't have to think about it anymore because the sharding people have, have, have figured that out. Um, now, what Mintbase is, is we're an OG in the space of, of pioneering minting NFTs since 2018. So we've built and rebuilt a, a market, a minting mechanism, and a redeeming mechanism, uh, and basically our own explorer at this point. So the reason why we had to build these, uh, and our goal isn't that we are the ones that want you guys come to us uh, we don't think the open sea theory is going to be the big idea. The big idea is everyone being able to build their own markets in their own creative ways, uh, however they want to do that. So we built our own minter market and redeeming system so that it could guide us to build our own market contracts uh, where we can build auctions and simple sales. Um, and then that allowed us to build our indexer. Uh, so is anyone not familiar with what an indexer is? What? Don't worry if you don't think so. This is the, the most complicated thing about building a blockchain. This is hard. This is the hardest thing in the world. It's uh, it's really just a pain in the butt. If you're a Web2 developer, you like React, building React apps and doing front end apps, uh, you shouldn't have to know what an indexer is, but you kind of have to. That's how you get your data uh, prepped and ready to go. So what you just saw, was a list of all these NFTs, right? So if we go into here, uh, da, 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 we go into stats. So right now we're looking at every single NFT action that's happening on near in real time. Uh, this is our indexer. This is just a thing that says, okay, there's a fire hose of data just like spitting out. Um, how do we package that and put it in a correct way so that other folks can um, build their own marketplaces who are just used to regular web two stuff and then build? without having to worry about this really complicated, horrible stuff. So we've built that, uh, which now we have other applications that are building on top of us, uh, a ticketing platform, Gorilla Shops, which is kind of like the Shopify system, uh, and a bunch of others. And I'll show you how different ways that you're able to build your own market. And this is what led us to this affiliate uh, program. So this is where our company kind of comes down to. This is why we exist and this is why we're this is really the proof that shows why we're so passionate about other people building their own marketplaces uh because this is directly in our buy system uh that gives any of these markets 1.25 percent of the market fee. uh and let's see how complicated is that uh it's just this uh you do the buy you've got uh near call the contract that you want to mess with um, 
and you just add what is the contract ID, what is the token ID, and then here's the affiliate ID. You just pop that on there. Now, whatever market, if these folks don't want to build their own Rust contracts and get those audited, which is expensive and timely and, and a giant pain in the butt, they can just hit this. Uh, if eventually they say, okay, F mint base, I want to go build my own market contract, that's great. Later on, they can go do that. This is kind of like a good like lift off uh, idea. So uh, in basic React, uh, same sort of thing. Uh, if you want to just add the affiliate account on the execution. So Mintbase has built a, a massive NPM library that we've broken out into several different pieces. We have auth, uh, which is how you can uh, tap into near social. Uh, we have the React component. We have the SDK. This is where you can do all of your sort of buy, transfer, batch transfers, uh, any sort of like thing that you do with the NFT, uh, you just tap into that. And you'll see there's several others. We even have a storage component that allows you to upload directly to Arweave uh, pre-minting. Um, you can dive into that land. Uh, OK, Affiliate Direct, let's get out of the coding world. I'm going to pull up from coding land for just a second. How complicated is that? OK, so uh, let's say I'm just a random user. I want to become my own market. I want to get market fees. How do I do that? I'm an influencer, maybe. Uh, let's go into this Web3 mon. Uh, let's go into show only listed. So let's say I think this is a pretty neat little son of a gun, right? I just copy uh, the affiliate direct. And you'll notice at the end, There's just this affiliate account ID, Nate.near. You can put whatever you want on that. If someone goes and buys that, we'll just throw that into the, uh, the buy function, and then that person or DAO or whatever nonprofit uh, will get the affiliate fee directly. So I think that's pretty neat. Uh, someone tell me if you've ever heard of this before, because this is, uh, I think, it's kind of hard to find like novel things in the space where you don't see something else and go, Mine, you created that, I created that, you know, that meme. Uh, so uh, this was done by us uh, sitting in a pool drinking beers uh, while we were at our retreat. Uh, if you don't know Paul, Paul's our structured uh, COO guy. So he's the guy who's like, everything has to be structured, like extremely strong. Instead, we were sitting in the pool and we came up with an affiliate program right away. Yeah, there's no laptops in the pool, tough news, but anyways. Uh, okay, so that's one way to use the affiliate program. What are what are some of the other ways? Uh, okay, so uh, uh, my market on near social. Um, another thing. So what I'm saying is like we we need other people to build their own markets away from Minface. We built our marketplace just to make sure we're doing an indexing right. Um, but being able to like do the same interface in all these other locations. Uh, again, here's a fully on chain market driven by our indexer. Uh, that also has the affiliate account ID on top. Uh, so any time I buy any of these pieces on a completely decentralized uh, front end, um, that person gets that affiliate fee. So if I go into Mintbase, our market, you'll notice, boom, 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 new listings. It's identical, right? Boom, boom. Let's kill some stuff. I have a lot of things going on here. Oh my goodness. Death, 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 death. That's how I look on my Oh, where'd it go? I don't think I need any of this. One second. Death, 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 death. Okay. Here we go. It's identical, right? It's just a different marketplace. Uh, and so this is just the beginning of like, cool, build your own metaverse, tap into your market. You don't need to pull like the newest listings. Maybe you just want to focus on one smart contract that you just want to start pulling that in. Maybe it's like seven contracts. We think the future is like niche markets, right? I'm a brand uh, fashion person in Berlin. I just want to show black clothing, you know, for, for uh, you know, black clothing, smart contracts, you know, focus that, that does that. So, uh, uh, so this brings back to composability. So we have decentralization, we have composability, and then the ownership. And to me, that's, that covers the, uh, the pieces. So Tradeport, also another really fascinating application. They're going kind of the blur route, which is aggregation, being able to list on several different markets automatically. Um, I 
told he's like, oh yeah, Nate, I want to be able to like buy from your contracts without us building our own. Con well, they're already building their own contracts, but to might as well have another way to buy from Tradeport. So they're actually now one of our largest uh, affiliate pieces. So if I go into stats, we can go into top affiliates. This just launched two weeks ago, so please don't. This is a brand new technology. Yes, great. It's not that much near. It's point one two five percent near. But you can tell at Tradeport, an application is now earning fees off of their purchases directly from their system. So uh, this is going to be our guiding North Star. If Mintbase is doing our job correctly, this thing's just going to start raging and other people are going to be making money off of their own markets uh, quick and easy. So I hope that describes the affiliate program. Uh, should we build a market really quickly? Ew. Okay, let's. Portuguese fat black fashion. It's not Portuguese, actually. It's uh, I feel like there's, everyone's light and happy. I think our Berlin persona has like been brought to employees, and now everyone's wearing black. It's a process. Okay, so uh, let's. Let's uh, let's deploy a market. How hard is it to build my own market, my own React app, right? So let's go into uh, the, 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 the examples. Take a little sip of this. Hey, you want to follow along? You want to, you want to deploy? Okay, so go into examples. Are you on examples? Now check out simple market. Here we are. We even have a simple mentor. So no, 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 simple market. And then. We're going to scroll on down and we're going to see this little deploy button. We're going to hit deploy. Ooh, do you know Vercel? This is magic. This is beautiful stuff. It's uh, Vercel is our guiding North Star as well, where we want to be as a company. Um, so here, I'm, I'm going to go into, so here's Nate Geyer. Uh, you guys go ahead and pick like a random name so you don't you know. I, I'm just making up, say something. Vaughn. So I'm going to build the Vaughn market. So I'm going to hit create. So right now, what I'm doing, I just went into MinPace. I logged into my Vercel account. I now forked the entire market contract into uh, my own GitHub. So if we go into GitHub, go check out my repo. Here's my profile. Here's my repositories. Okay, so we got Vaughn here, right? So we just click the button and now I got Vaughn. Uh, anyone can fork Vaughn from me as well. Uh, and let's uh, see. So right now it's building and it's deploying and it's about to deploy a marketplace that has like, it's tracking like six certain smart contracts. And you can change those just by going into the EMV bars and just basically adding different smart contracts on what you want to track. Uh, and you can track anything. You can track a uh, few and far contract. You can tr track a... Uh, the entire Paras contract could be something that, that you track. Um, so that's, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to come back to this after this deploys. I think it's going to take like two minutes. So back to the presentation. Slideshow, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so how do we get all this data? Um, so once you've mastered the forking of the contract, you now have all that beautiful code. You'll see a bunch of our queries, GraphQL queries in there. Uh, and maybe you want a, a thirst for a little bit more uh, custom data. Then you've graduated to come into our uh, indexer. So this is all open uh, just with one click. Uh, let's see, MOB. Are these your latest NFTs that you've messed with? No. So it should be uh, last transferred, organized in order of last transferred. No. Oh, just say yes. Good job, Mimpase. Uh, that's just one little bit. I mean, the, the amount of data that you can get here, and it's all been indexed and optimized by us because we're using it. You know, we've we've struggled through the issues of like, I need to get this data organized in this sort of way uh, with this sort of relationship, like give me the provenance of all these different tokens. Uh, you can spend hours just looking into all this and it's uh, it's fun. Um, it, so literally anything MintBase is using is now available to you. Okay, so let's see if this deployed. 
Oh, 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 okay, so now congratulations. Uh, we can continue to the dashboard. Wait a minute. So, do, do, do. so now I've just deployed this. So the affiliate program is also an EMB VAR. Uh, if someone sells or buys one of these NFTs, uh, I would be able to go and check out the leaderboard from my market, uh, and I would pop up somewhere deep into here. So the goal is to kind of show you how to do that full roundabout thing. And so each of these are smart contracts on here. We have Yeats, AI land, uh, a license. So, and any contract on near, regardless of whether it's mint base or whoever's, uh, will just show up here. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, what else should we talk about? The Peter index. Uh, yep, we're there, we're there. I didn't know if we were gonna, if I should pull up uh, from the dev world. No. So this is this is Nick Von Rupp. Uh, he's a he's a younger version of. I'm I'm the Von Rupper man. Uh, so what are we gonna do with all this cool technology? Um, we're gonna rip it. Uh, we're going to create um, image licensing uh, applications for. Baron Davis, he's a two-time NBA All-Star. Um, Nick Von Rupp, who's just a crazy, uh, respected person uh, in the big, big wave field. Uh, and he's uh, from Portugal. So the real dream of the app that we're gonna be creating with some of this technology is uh, it's another marketplace where let's say if someone takes a photo of this sort of situation, we're able to onboard a few folks uh, the actual surfers, we can add them as royalty owners. And imagine being able to take a photo, add a commercial license to it, upload it to a market, have all the people around the world frothing it, wanting that image to put on their blog, and also have that sort of license that pegs to it. So that's the, uh, the route that we are off to. Um, I think that that's a, that's a good high level. Let's go into Q&A. You guys got any questions about stuff? Yeah, we started in Ethereum land. Like I'm a just, I don't know, I like being ahead of the curve in the technology land. The stuff we can do on near is we're just scratching the surface. We're not even using like the uh, the storage um, allowance, right? Because we've been so busy doing all these other things. The, the key management system is insane. Like there's so much like core tech that people don't even understand yet that we're just scratching the surface. I feel like we can really innovate if we drill into one chain because Building this stuff is complex and incredibly difficult. And it's like every day is like, you're just like pounding the pavement to get a little bit further. So uh, the answer to that is we're always open and looking for other uh, chains, but for the most part right now, we're just like, I don't think we've even, we need to master near first before we go anywhere else. Yeah, so actually the top uh, of our list of the affiliate program is someone who uh, created a WordPress site and then uh, just added links, uh, affiliate links directly on top. So you can go as high level as I just have a link that goes to Mintbase or as low level as building your own site and doing it directly. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's really any of the bits. <laughs> of what? I don't have that link. Does anyone have that link? You want to send it to me? Luis can send it to you. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. So um, I'm wondering if you on the DAO on your team, like you have it configured and posted. And I was brainstorming the idea of in your social page and at our DAO, having the that brand, so it's fashion now. And the purpose is to monetize, um, you know, the exposure to brands, smaller brands, designers, you know, showcasing your work. And so we were thinking of having a marketplace where you can show brands that you can imagine now on their 
center. And like how does that deal with their writing about So I guess my question is how would it um, look from that perspective of like written down yep. in the years of the world? So here's me, I'm Nate Nate Dot here, right? I got this sweet list. This is probably the most ununderstood list of things that people don't understand what Moonface does. These are all the smart contracts that either I've deployed or someone has added me as a mentor uh, can do. So if I go into like our grants, this is something I've deployed. If I go into like uh, this world, this is another uh, deployed contract that I run. But then we can go into store settings. Oh, we can actually go into manage mentors. I mean, this is technically, this could be a DAO. You can, all the mentors is on chain built into the contract. You can add all the folks that are part of that. Um, yeah. And you, as the uh, contract owner, you can actually set uh, your royalty percentage. God, this stuff is so complex and neat that we just, we can't really explain it outside of like direct communication, I'm realizing sometimes. So we have default royalties and default split revenue. I'm the contract owner. Um, I'm going to add like 30 different mentors. Anyone who mints on my platform, this is where I can say I want to get 3% uh, royalties from anyone who gets onboarded. So this is your uh, one-time split revenue. Say you want to give someone that first hit. Uh, they Maybe you want to onboard like the Defiant or a news agency. They shouldn't have royalties and keep getting that revenue. They should maybe get a cut of like, you know, we did an article, we sold 10 of these things. Now I get a small fee. They're incentivized to like pump that um, report out. So basically, that's, I hope that answers your question. You, Mintbase is almost its own DAO in itself. Uh, then you can get into AstroDAO. Have you messed with that yet? Yeah. yeah. You can do custom function calls on AstroDAO where you can do it, a lot of things. You can mint from DAO, uh, DAO approval process you can transfer based on approval you can execute the code based on full approvals so we work very well with, with astro land yep. is it pretty because if it's not pretty i don't want to show it <laughs> uh all right let's see Uh, okay, so it's ridiculously easy. So to, how does it, how does it work to deploy a store? You click new store, you type in some stuff, and then once that gets deployed, it costs seven year. Uh, then that just shows up in your list here. So once that's deployed, then you can go into the settings and add mentors. Now you have your whole group of, of folks that are part of your system, and then when they log in, they can actually do the mint. Our minting system, obviously, we're mint based. We're pretty good at that too. Uh, it's pretty plush. You can do batch minting of several pieces. Uh, you can add PDFs. You can add um, 3D files, GLB. Uh, you can add royalties and single splits in that single mint or those multiples of mints. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty robust. No, no, Frank, please. Yep. So this is where we're heading. Now that we have the indexer kind of super dialed in and the front end is getting closer, doing re redeeming mechanisms is the future, right? It's like, maybe I want a Kobe shoe. Uh, I would love to see one day where you click and you're logged in with your wallet. And then it says, you know, 300 bucks for the Kobe shoe. And then it'll say, oh, do you want to do this horrible credit card system or would you rather burn the NFT that you own? And then we can actually transfer that. So the uh, NPM library, I mean, we could probably spend two weeks building a quick NPM script that does something along the lines of check if it has owned a uh, token, you know, return, and then do the actual uh, burning systems. So to answer your question, easy if we have more people and time to focus on it for a week. <laughs> we work together. Do you have, code, do you have developers? Sweet, that's perfect. We can guide the heck out of them. We should create a Telegram group afterwards and, and crank. Got any 
Eugene, you got some questions, man. Quinn Token? Our goal for the token is the, uh, we need to figure out our purpose and utility first, right? Like you launch a token, you don't know exactly what it does. It's gonna be sketchy. It's uh, especially with SEC land. Like right now, we're actually not afraid of life, you know, because we didn't launch a token. Um, what's that? We could, I could have launched it. I could have launched it in 2018. This really goes to show you like we're in this for the long haul. We're not, I mean, we could have done so many different on Ethereum or whatever. I, I, I do feel like the goal is eventually to let MintBase go full open. Uh, right now we actually are in the final stages of our market audits. Uh, so then when that happens, those will be fully open. Uh, my dream would be to open source the entire front end because obviously forking your own market is the, is the dream, but you just have to do these things a little bit slowly, right? I, we've never been hacked for a reason. It's we're very cautious and slow and, and hopefully we'll win over time. That's the, that's the idea. No, we don't have secret code stuff. Uh, that stuff gets tricky too because then you you get into centralization issues where you have to like decrypt that code. Like we could do unlockable content on Minbase really yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The biggest problem with unlockable content is people are going to have to rely on us to make sure that content gets unlocked. Like we built a system that if you mint and create your contract, if we die tomorrow, it's really not that big of a deal. Like there's other marketplaces that exist. Off it goes. Um, that said, building, we encourage anyone to build their own market contract that, uh, or their own, uh, redeemable kind of thing on the side. We don't take that liability and more power to them, but then they have to, yeah. I, I would love to actually pick zero knowledge proofs uh, brains to yeah, do it on chain. Yeah, you get a, you have an NFT, another NFT, then that gives you the coupon, you get to it. Yeah, there's a coupon NFT that just goes in, you do a little, yeah, easy peasy, click, it just solves it. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> uh, all right. Any other questions? Uh, we're building a heck of a ton of tools. Uh, we're also not a massive team. We're a team of like 13 people, and we're constantly stressed out because our Telegram is perpetually pinging us with, why is this stuff broken? Or like, how do I find this? We're extremely available and probably a little too available. So uh, we're, we're there to help for sure. And we're trying to figure out those processes. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're, we're driven by our users asking for stuff, but it's, uh, we, have hours. we have office hours. Uh, yes. I did it a little because it's a crazy down market. But yes, we're, uh, I think, obviously, we our uh, developer experience team needs a lot of work. Um, we have the core engineers that are cranking and, and humming along, um, but folks that are a little bit more focused on the Telegram groups and being able to help us uh, spread the message and be probably half on the Telegram and half on the... Um, so what we're particularly looking for is not the core engineering side, it's more of like the layer in between, like let's say MintBase JS uh, could use a little bit of help because some person doesn't know how stuff works and then that person can optimize and say, okay, I'm gonna mess with MintBase JS a little bit, tweak it and relay the information on how that stuff happens. That's a big, big piece of what we're looking for. Product, yeah. Minsta, hey, what's up? <laughs> Have you checked out our stats page? This is everything happening on here. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming. Unless there's any other questions.
Let's go.